Hi guys, I'm Rohit from Drive London. Um, we're going to now do some episodes on a person learning to drive. And this will be a series of episodes and they will be out every Monday at nine o'clock. And we've chosen George to be the guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In these episodes, you're just gonna watch every lesson he does um, and see how he gets on every lesson, all the way up until he does his test. He's happy to do it, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. happy. Good. So yeah, let's start learning to drive with George. <laughs> So, uh, we're here with George, uh, mm -hmm. he's done a couple of lessons with us already on just moving off and controls and, and so on. We got on to, um, and also we looked at mini roundabouts and crossroads, yeah, and that's all we've done so far, right? Yeah. And last lesson we just touched on the main roads, he drove back home, and now we're going to start from here. And we're going to recap on the main roads first, and then we're going to carry on and probably look at meeting situations today. Okay. Uh, we went into third gear last lesson as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll practice quickly going into third gear now before we move off. So if you just put your clutch down to the floor, put it into first gear, into second, into third, into second, into first, into second, into third, into first. Perfect. Okay, good. Should we start the engine? Okay. Good. Right, whenever you're ready, we're going to move off. Check top and right mirrors, good. Okay, so we're on the main road, so I'm going to talk through what we have in front. So we have a cycle lane, we try to avoid it as much as possible. Yeah. But now there's oncoming cars which are in our, in our lane, so we check our left mirrors. If it's safe, go into the cycle lane. Perfect. Completely ill. Yeah, just enough so that they can still get past, because yeah. see how he's driving on our side of the road. Yeah. And now we can pull back out by checking our mirrors yeah. first, because there's that motorbike just coming up from behind. Done. Scan the crossing. Good. What signs do you see up ahead? Thirty. Thirty. You can go a little bit quicker for now. So follow the road. That's it. So now it's a thirty road. There's someone waiting at the crossing, so the lights could potentially change, but they haven't. Well done. We'll check our mirrors. Go our speed. And into the third. Perfect gear change. Well done. Check our left mirrors just to come over and use the space for a little while. And then we check our right mirrors to move ourselves back out. Same thing again. Do you check your left mirror. Probably your brakes and clutch here just in case you need to go slower. Whatever there's a potential danger, we may need to go slower where you could lose control. We cover our brakes and clutch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next roundabout, we're turning left, first exit. Still won't make that, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of look at where the curb is so you know when it comes to turning. Good. And check your left mirrors again, just to make sure there's no cyclists that creeped up. Let's go. Good. A little bit quicker. There you go. Good control, but it's a bit slow, yeah? Check top and right mirrors. Well done. Roundabout, we're going straight to head second exit. Uh, first exit, sorry. A bit close to the car in front. Oh. Now, when you're that close, do you want to be on the gas pedal? No. No, I'd cover my brakes. You had enough speed to keep the car moving, yeah? So, roundabout, we try not to stop unless someone's coming from there. Right. Perfect. Look at your signals to figure out where he's going. Well done. So, he's turning left. Don't know where the car behind is going. Well done. He's turning left. We could go. No, we can't because there's a silver car behind. Keep your clutch just at the biting point. Go look out for people blocking the right for you. Put it more down. Yeah, it's fine. Blind point too high. Good. Gas, bring your clutch to move. Mm. Well done for looking at where you're going. Too quick? Yes, you brought your clutch up too quick then. Mm. Well done. At the end of the road, we're going to be turning right. Would you 
signal here? I would check my mirrors from yeah. here yeah. and now signal. Cover brakes and clutch. Clutch Just goes down now. Keep more to the right because there's two lanes. There you go. Into first gear. Look both ways. Now there's a car coming from our right, so we can stop. So this was an open junction, so we could keep looking here. If it was clear, we could keep going, but if it's not, then we've got to stop and wait for a gap. Okay, that guy's gonna cross, so he's gonna stop the people from coming from your right. I would move there. Yeah, let's go. A little bit quicker. There you go. Did you see that guy on the crossing? Yeah, block. block. Yes, Can that's it. Is it a block? Is it still called a block? Yeah, he's kind of blocking the, the flow of traffic yeah. coming from your left, so we can keep going there. Yeah, as long as it's clear on your right as well. Good gear change. So what's the speed limit on this road? 20. Okay. So if someone's crossing, anyone else? Try to scan. So there it is. Perfect. Just so that the car can build its speed, yeah? Does it need the gas, like? Cause yes. Because it might stall. Correct. Check your right mirrors. Well done. And then tuck ourselves back over to the left, we check. Perfect. Perfect. Go back out. Now you're going to have two lanes up ahead. To go straight ahead, which lane should we stick to? The right one? Left. left. So we check top and left mirrors. Go to the left, well done. Good. Perfect. Now check your right mirrors, well done. Good. So whenever we're going straight ahead, usually we have to keep to the left side of the road. Unless there's signs or road markings indicating that the left is a left only, then we'll move over to the next lane, making sure that's going straight ahead as well. Okay. And remember, if one lane splits into two, you don't need a signal. So over there we had one lane and it split into two and we stayed to the left just by checking our mirrors. When do we need a signal? Um, when you're switching lanes. Switching lanes, yeah. yeah good. So I can really scan what's happening up ahead. You can see those lights. So I'd start braking gently from here, hoping that the lights change in time my clutch down from here there's a junction which we want to keep clear into first gear perfect and we stop just here okay. why am i saying just here so that cars can turn in and out of this road okay see that car coming over there yeah. if you wanted to turn right you could still do that while we're waiting in traffic fine point check all three mirrors good and we're going to keep to the left Rock. check your left mirrors again well done a bit faster give yourself a bit more to the speed. It was uphill, so you should have sped up a bit more before changing. Okay. Because remember, on the uphill gradient, you're going to lose speed a lot quicker. Check your right mirrors. Good. Perfect mirrors. Long as you can let it come back down again. So if it goes to 21, 22, 
as long as you let it dip back down to 20, it's perfectly fine. But if you keep driving at 16 miles per hour or 17 or 18 miles per hour, sometimes it's a little too slow. Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we try to get really up to the speed and make it safe to do so. Like this, this is perfect. Well done. slow on this road already. It does feel yeah. slow now, yeah. So that's why, imagine if you're driving at 18, that's going to want people from behind to overtake. So we get right up to the speed of Can you say you can go into third gear and then just... You can do, yeah. So we can change it to third right now. Uh, but I'm going to leave that for now, okay? okay. We're going to take the next road on your left. Scan the crossing, make sure there's no one waiting. Good. So this is 10. Good mirrors, good signal. What do we cover? Breaking clutch. Stay in second. I feel like we could do this one in second. I mean, yeah. That's perfect. I don't know why, for some reason, I thought we were in third gear. <laughs> yeah, so we were thinking about going in Because we were thinking about it, and then yeah. I was like, oh, wait, should, I turn, should I go back into second? Or? <laughs> okay, at the end of the road, we're going to be turning left. Now, figure out where the end of the road is. Follow the center line to help you. This road? No. So the center line curves over to the right. That's the end of the road. That would be the next road on your left. Clutch down, keep more left. Because we're turning left, you need to keep more to the left next time, okay? Find your buying point. Okay, now he's flashing his lights. We could take the opportunity to go, but you're gonna, you left it too late, it's fine. Now, if there's no gaps coming up, we keep our clutch down until you see a gap coming up. Because you don't want to burn out your clutch. Don't some people put their handbrake on? You can do, but we don't want to, we, we don't need too to do this. Yes. <laughs> okay, there's a gap coming up there. See that grey car? Yeah. So you find the buying point slightly higher than normal because you're on a hill. A little bit higher. Gas. Hold it there. Start turning. Look at it. To the left. Big turns. Nice turns there. Well done. Okay, road. Top mirror first. Yep. Yeah. Top and then right. Now, I know the road bends to the right, but you still need to follow the curb. Stay closer to the left. So if motorbikes want to overtake, they're overtaking for your right, not inside. Okay? Not undertaking. Perfect, change, well done. And the speed on this road is? I don't actually know, 20. Can you see any 20 signs? I see a 20 for that side, but... That's for that road? Yeah. Okay, so when we turn into this road, there's no signs, and if there's no signs for about 100 to 200 yards, it's most likely going to be a 30 road. So, step around? Yeah, so we can go up to 30 miles per hour. So Do you actually down. know what that actually is? It's 30. Okay. Yeah. So by now, you have to always remember, on a slow road, they're going to keep reminding you to stay slow. So yeah. on a 20 zone, they're always going to keep reminding you it's a 20 zone, 20 zone, 20 zone. If there's no speeds, this is part of your theory as well. If there's no speed signs and the street lights, then it's a 30 zone. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Slow down now? Or I would just I would think about what's happening up ahead, so... Traffic is now slowing down, slowing down, so I'd come off the gas and start gently braking. We're in third, so we'll drop down to second when it gets to about 18. Clutch down and two lanes of spling, so we check our left mirrors and keep to the left. Well done. One, and it's still one, two, three, yep. Good positioning, well done. Good mirror checks as well. We're going to turn left of the track lights. Stop. Could have made it even better by not having that little jolt then. Mm, yeah, I felt it still. <laughs> okay, so soon we're going to start looking at some bus lanes. Okay, yep. and remember the times written on the bus lanes. What do they What do they mean to you again? The times you can't use it. Correct. So if you miss the sign, or if you read the sign and you realise you can't use it, we yeah. avoid the bus lane. Check your left mirrors. Make sure no cyclists have creeped up on you. Good. Well done. Yeah. Stops. <laughs> okay, what else do we see? 
person crossing the road. Correct. A hazard. Yeah, well done. And now, pedestrian crossing. You see the traffic lights. Mm -hmm. So we scan to see if there's anyone no, waiting there. Yeah. Good. So the lights, will they change? No. Most likely they won't change, yeah? Unless someone's pressed their run off. Correct. Now, what else do we see? Stop. Okay, so what's the time? Is this? So we have a bus lane, so we've got to look out for the signs. There's a sign just there. Let's try to read the Not sign. Not big bus. Good. Now there's a junction here, so we'll keep it clear. So we'll stop around here unless there's space up ahead of you, yeah? Good. From 7am to 7 And that's you said then? Um, no. Time's no, on. I can't. So it's Thursday, so I can't. Perfect. It's a Thursday and it's three o'clock. Between those times, yes. Perfect. Hands on the steering wheel. Thank you. Okay, so the bus lane is still in operation, it's still there, and well done for avoiding it the whole way. Mm -hmm. But well, when the traffic starts to move, keep an eye on the bus lane. Tell me when it finishes, and once it finishes, what do we want to do? Go into it? Move back to the left. Yeah, go yeah, back. So it would have finished, and so we can move our position back to the left side of the road. Okay, so you moved forward. Did you check your mirrors before doing so? No. Every time you're going to move off, like now, check all three mirrors. And this is the kind of stuff you're looking at when motorbikes driving in the middle. Yeah? People are trying to overtake you on this? Correct. Okay, so there's no space. We're going to keep the crossing clear, even like though the lights guy. are green. Yeah, well done. Now wait until you see space for you. Okay. Yeah. And then check, check the lights. Check your mirrors, keep more to the right, a bit close to my side, watch out for the cyclist, you're most likely going to want to overtake him, yeah? Good. Oh my god, what is going on? Clutch down. Stop? Yeah, no, we're not stopping, just we, this car started juddering there. Yeah. So you want to go below six, you're below six, and the clutch is down, yeah? And now gently brake. Check all three mirrors. Now after this van, there's no more bus lane, do you agree? Yeah. So you can move back to the left. Now you're going to be switching it. lanes, so you need a the signal as well. On. You need a signal there. Yeah, okay. So just a reminder, when you're switching lanes, you need a signal. And plan ahead, what we're going to have up ahead. We see a big sign. Good. Check all mirrors before moving up. We can go, because the lights are green. Just keep it slow now for the woman. Keep it slower. Give her plenty of space, and now start moving. Start moving. Why should we slow? No idea. Okay, anyways, we have a bus lane. Some people are a bit slow at moving. Yeah, so we'll just let them, but we've just got to deal with them safely. Check your right mirrors. We're going to have to avoid the bus lane because we're not allowed to use it. You're inside the bus lane at the moment. Thank you. How can you check if you're outside the bus lane? Correct. Crossing, coming up. Check top and right mirrors. Scan. There's people waiting there, they've all pressed the button so the lights could change. Follow the bend. That's it. Clutch goes down. There's no space, we can't go in the bus lane, so you're gonna stop here. Good. And now I would move forward slowly. Check your left mirrors, maybe a little bit to the left, that's it. Good. Go more to the right. Now you're braking and trying to move the car at the same point there. Yeah. Do you feel that? Turning left, first exit the roundabout. Check mirrors. Signal, keep to the left, keep to the left. Thank well, you. Up here. Yeah. I thought it was a bus lane. No. Let's go now. There's no one there. Okay, get control. Buying point. There you go. Good. Well done. Get faster. Into second gear. Well done. No one's crossing. That's still green. We can keep going. Well done. Okay, let's talk about what happened there. I don't know. <laughs> So we said turn left at the roundabout. As we got closer to the roundabout, the bus lane had finished. Yeah, so that's why I didn't notice. 
Okay, so you've got to pay attention to the road markings, road signs to tell you when the bus lane has finished, so we can move back to that lane. Had you stayed in the right lane, you cannot turn left from that, that lane. Yeah? Now, to overtake a cyclist, you want to give them plenty of space and make sure there's enough space to do so. That's plenty of space. Check your right mirrors. Let's go a little bit quicker within the speed limit, which is 20. Check your left mirrors. Make sure you see the cyclist in the mirror, and then you can come back to your left. Well done. Going back to our roundabout, so we stalled because the clutch just came up too yeah. quick. Yeah, just slow it down. Yeah, that's it. Okay, and why did you move to the right? Shouldn't have, isn't it? Correct. Bus stop. Correct. Now there's a cycle lane, so you don't want to move the outside the cycle lane. Okay, good. So now we check our left mirrors because you're going into it. Now it's slower, just let her. That's it. Check your right mirrors. Come back, out. Come back out of the cycle lane. There you go. That was a tricky situation. I'll talk about it in a moment. So the bus was coming towards us on our side of the road. And we had a cycle lane, which we can go into. Yeah. We have to check our mirrors, make sure there's no cyclists right next to us. There wasn't. There was one in front of us. So you check your mirrors, drift over, but with that cyclist in front, stay behind. Yes. There's also cars behind you, you got to worry about. Them, Correct. So. There's loads of things you need to think about. That's why we say plan ahead as much as possible beforehand. Kind of re look up ahead and see what kind of things you have to deal with, how cars are parked, and how it's going to affect the oncoming traffic. And you. Bus lane four to seven. Perfect. So, can you use it? No. Correct. We're going to take the next road on your left. Mirrors. Good signal. So, we're not allowed to use the bus lane, but you see the brake. So, after that, we check our mirrors again. Make sure no bus. Okay, good. Well done. Oh, you're a bit closer, the cab. There you go. Good. Not yeah, right. so, yeah. you, we're going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why we brake so hard there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we, we didn't need to. There's no hazards. There's nothing. It's just too sharp on the brakes. And then your steering was just way too close to the cab. Okay, keep an eye on the curb so we don't steer too much. But did you understand how to cross the bus lane then? Because we weren't allowed to use it, but we had to take that turn. So we yeah. had to wait until the bus lane, the, ends. yeah, not, not ends, the white lane has a brake, so we can come into it to turn. But you have to remember, if there was a bus there, he would have priority because you're crossing his lane. Perfect. Okay, so this is your first time doing a crossroad, right? Yeah. Okay, with traffic lights. Now remember, when our lights go green, who else is go green? Uh, they're, they're the opposite, and the left and right will be stopped. They will have red lights, correct? Yeah. So when our lights go green, it means we can end, we can go, but we won't be able to go straight away because some of those cars will be going straight ahead. Yeah. Which have priority over us. So you need to go into the middle and wait. And there's two ways of waiting. One with one's called near side. One's called offside. Perfect. Which one do you reckon you're going to be doing here? Near side. Correct. So you're going to keep it very slow, you're going to come into the junction like this guy's done here, but he's gone a bit too far forward. So if yeah. there's another car waiting to turn, he hasn't left them enough space. Yeah? Okay. And before moving off, we're going to check the three mirrors. Good. So we're going to keep it slow. Good. That's perfect. Start tilting yourself in a bit more, a little bit more. Then big turn, big turn, and stop here, like this. So she can turn there, and we can turn there. Now I want you to edge forward a little bit more so you can get a better view. Just make sure you're not blocking the oncoming traffic, which is going straight out. Go more to the right, turn more, turn more, turn more, that's it. And just stop there. Get your clutch down. No, no, keep your turn, keep your wheel turned, keep your wheel turned. Okay, and now the lights have changed to red. We're changing to red and we can start moving. We can start moving. A bit quicker. A little bit quicker. And we're going to keep going. Well done. Perfect. Oh, a bit closer to the curb. Thank you. Mirror signal right. I'm going to talk through this one still. So it's another crossroad. Clutch down and we'll go behind him because there's enough space for two cars usually to wait in the junction. Well done. A bit more forward, just slightly more. Okay, we're going to have to clear the junction because you're past the stop line. And lights are red, we can go. Flying point was a bit high. Well done. New road. Did you understand what we did there? Mm -hmm. I remember.
remember two cars usually can wait inside the junction and if you pass the stop line when the lights go to red you will need to clear the junction. Okay. So that's our second crossroad done. Do you feel like you can do you want to try good. the next one on your own? Uh, yeah. yeah. That was that was easier. Than good. Okay, it was good, um, but the only thing I would say is just go a bit more in a straight line first and then tilt your car just near the end. The car should be positioned like this. Yeah? I'm gonna let you do the, the turn yourself. Good mirrors, good signal. Could have been in second. It's too late for me now. It's got a sign on the road as well, isn't it? That thing. So that tells you what. You have to. Yeah. Go right up to the yellow line. Take a turn. That's it. It's stopped. You can. Okay. Uh, Should they have stopped? Yeah. Because eventually their lights go to red. But did it go to red? Yeah. So we didn't have a set of traffic light to look at at that point, but it did go to red. Okay, I guess you can see them if they stop. Correct. Right. You're not always going to have a set of traffic light which is going to help you. Sometimes there will be no traffic light and you've just got to figure out when the traffic stopped and clear the junction. Okay. Alright, so we're going to look at some meeting situations. The first couple are going to be quite easy. Um, I'll talk through them, what you need to do, and then after I'll just get more and more difficult. Okay? Okay. Alright, good. Ready? Mm -hmm. One step. Get Karen straight ahead on this road. Like it just came mm -hmm. up a little bit quick. Now we have an oncoming car. Think about where we're going to meet. We're going to meet just after the van. Yeah. Now we could go into that gap. It's a nice big gap. So we check top and left mirrors. Cover brakes and cover clutch. Clutch. No, you're coming in too early. Remember what I said. Clutch down. Into first gear. Nice big gap. Check your mirrors. Big turns. And I forgot to say that you need to keep a nice big gap with the cars in front. So there's enough time, enough space for you to maneuver around. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, another meeting situation. Check top and right mirrors, know what's happening behind us. Now there's a big gap on his side, but I don't feel like he's gonna stop there. We can just stop here, perfect, clutch down. He will go in. Perfect, now we check mirrors, start moving. That's perfect. Good. Even with the cyclist. Now there's enough space for both of us, but we check our left mirrors, drift over a little bit, that's it. And check mirrors, move back up. Going back to the first meeting situation, you came in too fast. Remember, we know we're going into that gap. Just slow it down, make sure you definitely pass that car and then come in. You came in too fast and you got too close to that first car, mm -hmm. uh, to the parked car. Yeah. Now he's giving you weight. Can you see how he's adjusted yeah. his speed? Perfect. But we have to keep it very slow because there's not a lot of space there, right? Straight ahead, second exit. Okay. There you go. Did you check your mirrors before coming in? No. So you shouldn't be moving your position, no, I would have slowed it down there. 
You have to keep reminding yourself in meeting situations, you're already quite slow. Cyclists can keep up with you very easily. If you start moving over to your left without checking your mirrors, you could end up knocking over a cyclist, okay? So if you haven't checked your mirrors, the best thing to do at that point is just slow down in your position. Can you just turn up your engine for me, please? Good. That brings us to the end of our lesson. How was that? That sounds pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Good. Yeah, it's good. Good that you enjoyed it.